It is. So we are going to continue down the road here on Music Cap, and we are going to go to our next guest. They are going to join us live here on Music Cap. I believe Pablo Ojeda is with us. Pablo, how are you, sir? Good. How are you doing, James? Pretty good, actually. Pretty good, actually. Thanks for joining us this week here on Music Cap. Tell me a little bit about how you got started in this uh, whole music thing. Oh, man, it's been a long time. Uh, let's see. Um, <clears throat> during high school, I started playing bass. I actually used to be a guitar player. was kind of into the heavy metal scene for a while, you know, all of the uh, the hair bands and all of that. And, yep. Um, decided uh, my senior year of high school to start playing bass and shortly thereafter joined a band here in the Northwest called Rubberneck, uh, a funk band. Um, started playing with bass with them and, man, did that for about 15, 20 years. We got uh, fairly popular up here in the Northwest, did a lot of national touring, um, even lived in Spain for a summer playing with that band. Wow. And, you know, that's how I really got into to funk and kind of gave up the, the regular guitar playing and just stuck with bass from there. That's pretty badass. Pablo Ojeda with us today. He joins us here on Music Cap and uh, just an amazing, amazing artist. Tell us a little bit about the music scene uh, because you're 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 in uh, Portland, Oregon. Tell us about the music scene, right. my friend. Oh, the music scene up here is great, um, <clears throat> especially for you know funk and jazz and that kind of thing. Uh, there's a lot of amazing musicians up here. Uh, there's a trumpet player out here named Farnell Newton, um, and he's played with Bootsy Collins and Jill Scott. That's and, awesome. You know, oh, just a whole array of people. Uh, a bass player named Damian Erskine. Uh, that guy is incredible. Um, his actually his uncle is Peter Erskine, a uh, famous jazz drummer. Um, so yeah, there's just any number of people like that that you can go see almost any night of the week. Just go into a small club and check them out. That's pretty badass. We have got a great guest with us today. He is a new jazz funk artist. He is from the uh, Portland, Oregon area. He has got a brand new single we are going to play here in just a few. Pablo Ojeda joins us here on our program. So tell me a little bit about your writing process for your music and how you bring your music to life, my friend. Well, so for me playing bass, it's all about, you know, the funk and the groove and the rhythm. So typically we'll start off with, you know, just a little groove, you know, I'll just be playing around on the bass and usually practicing and something will come up and I'll think, oh, I kind of like that and start working on a little bit and then I'll see if I can find a little drum loop or something that will go along with it and it just starts to build from there. Um, sometimes it's, uh, you get just that little part and it just kicks around for weeks and I can't come up with anything else and other times it just comes together really fast and uh, for this song thankful as soon as I added the the drum beat that I found um, it came together really quickly and I was like wow I you know I like this uh, I think I want to get some saxophone on this and I called up my friend uh, another amazing Portland musician John Nastos um, who's toured with Diane Shore uh, he's done a lot of a lot of things, and he's uh, you know local here. So I just sent him the tracks and said, "Hey, could you add something to this?" And you know, I trust him to do his thing, and he sends it back. And you know, most of the time, just like perfect, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, Pablo yeah. Ojeda with us today. He joins us here on our big program here on Music Cap this week. And you're joining us this week here on 990 WBOB out there in Rhode Island and also on the Music Cap Pro podcast over there on TalkShoe and Spotify. So Pablo Ojeda with us. So thankful is this incredible track that you've got here. Tell me a little bit about this song and uh, how this all came together for you. Yeah, so this one it was about towards the end of October, beginning of November, I had this bass line kind of kicking around in my head and, um, you know, just messing around with it. And like I said, I I thought, you know, I need to, to come up with something like a beat or something to come up, you know, to get this song going. So I found a beat that I really liked, sounded good, that started bringing the song together, started writing more parts to it, you know, a solo section and all of that. And uh, 
needed a little bit of guitar to go along with it. Um, I play a little bit of guitar, but I am not not a great guitar player. I'm not a funky guitar player either. Uh, so you know, started looking for some uh, you know samples and things. And in uh, I use um, Logic uh, is the recording program I use on my computer. And they just uh, released not too long ago some sample packs, and one of them was uh, Mark Letieri from uh, Snarky Puppy has a guitar sample pack on there, and they had some really great, you know, kind of funky guitar loops, so I kind of cut and paste little pieces here and there, and it was like, this is just, you know, perfect. Like I said, just kind of came together. Like, oh, I love the way this sounds. And um, before I knew it, I had it finished, and it was November, and I thought, if I'm going to name this song, you know, I think it would be great to name it Thankful because Thanksgiving's coming up and, yep. you know, and like I got a lot of a lot of things to be thankful for. So I thought that would be a good name. That's awesome. Well, we are going to do this. I'm going to place you on a brief hold here on Skype. We're going to play Thankful. It is an amazing track, and we are going to be back with more from Pablo Ojeda here on our big program, he joins us this week here on Music Cap. And we are going to go to Pablo Ojeda. It's thankful, and it's right now.
that is Pablo Ojeda. He joins us this week here on Music Cap. We are going to go back to Pablo Ojeda. He joins us here on Music Cap here on 990 WBOB. And, of course, you can find us each and every week on the Music Cap podcast over there on TalkShoe and Spotify. And watch all the videos and consume all the content at the mic.fun. And we have got a great guest with us today. He is a jazz funk artist, Pablo Ojeda. Thankful is the latest from him. And he has a brand new six song EP, Gotta Move. It's available on all streaming platforms. And uh, he is just an amazing, amazing bassist and uh, just great musician, Pablo Ojeda, with us today. So, Pablo, uh, you have just an amazing background in music. How, how, um, how do we get in touch with you online to buy your music and everything else? Uh, well, the music's available on all platforms, so Spotify, Apple Music, um, Amazon, all of the, uh, the, the usual platforms. Uh, and online, I'm on uh, Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. Um, the handle is uh, Pabs PDX Base. So my friends um, and stuff call me Pablo. Most of my friends call me Pabs. That's awesome. <laughs> so I, yeah, I use that as the uh, the <laughs> handle. Great. So Pabs PDX for Portland Base. Well, you are amazing. Uh, I definitely am looking forward to uh, seeing more of you and hearing more of your music. Uh, thanks for doing this, Pablo. Re- really appreciated the time, and uh, thanks for being with us this week here on Music Cap. Yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, my friend. We will talk to you soon. Have yourself a blessed Sunday. Thank you, Pablo. You too. Take care. Appreciate it, brother. There he goes. That is Pablo Ojeda. And we are going to go to our next guest 